This is James, a good friend of mine and Tarkov new. He's Global Elite in CSGO and he has 5,000 hours in Rust. He's a serious gamer, but he only has 100 hours of Tarkov. He is, by anyone's standards, a very new player. And today, I'm going to trick James out with some nice kits because he's literally level 1 and I want him to have a taste of what it's like to play at my level, late wipe. Most importantly for you though, James gained invaluable knowledge from this run with me. Hard lessons learned that would set him up to become a very capable and self-sufficient Tarkov player. So, if you're just starting out in Tarkov, stick around to the end. You won't want to miss out on this. Before we continue with this story though, thank you to Opera GX for sponsoring today's video. I've partnered with these guys a couple of times now, mainly because they're on a mission to change up the browser game and have fun whilst doing it. With Opera GX, you have full control over your browser's resources. Unlike other default browsers that hog your PC's resources, GX Control can completely limit your browser's CPU, RAM, and bandwidth, so you can keep everything open without hurting your PC's performance. I mean, just look at the comparison in Task Manager. You can't get that amount of control anywhere else. One thing I really love about Opera GX, though, is how you can customize your experience however you want. For example, with GX Mods, you can change the background music, the keyboard sounds, the opening and closing tab sounds, the theme and the colors of your browser. What's nice is there's a wide range of mods or themes in the GX store to suit everyone's taste and they're surprisingly easy to install. It's literally one click and within seconds you can give your browser a whole new look. If there's something you're not a fan of you can always go into the mod menu in the sidebar and toggle the parts you do or don't want. It's pretty simple. For us gamers though, GX Corner is a crazy feature. Here you can stay up to date with the latest and best deals for games, new releases, gaming news, and free games. You can easily switch between platforms and see up and coming games in the release calendar too. No more wasting time browsing the internet for answers. GX Corner has you covered, all in one place. Hit the link below to get Opera GX today and thank you to them for sponsoring this video. Today, we start our journey on customs. This is probably the map James has played the most. He's at the point where he can confidently use callouts or at least try to shout things out that make sense. Oh, we're loading in, we're loading in, we're loading in, we're loading in. Go, go, go. Uh, this is a dorm spawn, actually. Before we get deep into this raid, though, there's some things you should know. So I've been playing with James for a little while now. He's not the first person I've taught how to play Tarkov personally, and I'm sure he won't be the last. But over the years, I've found ways to give new players starting out a much easier time getting into this game. And that's kind of what this video is about, sharing the knowledge I give to any new person starting Tarkov. But this time round, you get to see the results live in action through the perspective of James. I want this to be an inspiration for those starting out, that getting your first big win isn't that far away. You're capable of it, but you just need to push in the right direction. I imagine a lot of us look back at our early struggles starting out. We painfully remember how we died because we couldn't quite figure out what meds to use in a fight, or accidentally packing your mags with the wrong ammo. I've been there, and some of those lessons you do just need to learn the hard way. But today, this is my shortcut to competing against endgame chads as a new player. These tips act as a gentle reminder to those already familiar with the game, but could be invaluable to those just starting out. So if you've got a pal that's just got the game, send them this video. Anyway, let's get back to our story. Oh, we're here. Hello. Yeah, this is two story. Ideally, we want to go third. That's where all the PvP is. I'm going to run straight into second. Is that inside? Yeah, it's in it. I'm going to get inside. I'm going to get inside. I'm going to run into the left. Oh my god. I think they're on third. If you want to cover me, I'll shut the door behind us. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Oh no, I'm fucking up. Those stairs. Near the lights, or is it closer? Oh, I'll have a little look. Where is that nade? Oh my god, that's a nade. That's up top. That's on top. Fine! Kill one. Oh, watch the other side. Oh, shut that door. The guy's really low, on right stairs, on the on stairs below. Oh god, there's, there's one guy there. Was there a guy on the stairs or? Yeah, 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 but he was really hurt. 
I'm packing a mag. In situations like this, when you're potentially pinned from either side, it's important to keep topping up your mags or healing if you have the free time. You need to make use of every second. Oh yeah, there's one down that corridor. Careful, he's just a wacky angle. Who's this? I've just killed oh him. Oh my god. How'd he get in, mate? <laughs> oh. Close the door, maybe? Know. Close the door, close the door, I'll cover. This guy's very aggro. I'm gonna do it now. Closed. Oh. There's a guy at the other end of the corridor, like far end. Oh. Where is that? Upstairs again. I'm gonna reload quick. Alright. What the fuck did this geezer have? I'm gonna take his helmet. There's a guy inside our side now. Side? Our side at the very end right, I think. Alright, it's very hard to see. Yeah. That guy was loaded, Bowler, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, he's stacked. He's got the best gun in the game. Where's the stairs? Can they be on the right side close or not? Yeah, like... Oh, shit. I'll watch the right side close then. That's right above Sounds like he's it? coming up behind us. That's on the stairs, isn't it? Yep. I've got red aim right now. Push him. Yeah, he's on the step close. Very close. Okay. I think he's dead. I think he's dead. I need to med, I think. You got him, mate. Yeah. I'm low. You've just killed the biggest Chad. I'm the biggest Chad bro. I'm heavy bleeding, black arm. Yeah, you're good, just heal up. With James medding up here, this is my first tip. Understanding your med setup. Now, there's plenty of ways to run meds as a new player, but the one I like the most is Grizzly and a CMS. The Grizzly is great because it fixes everything. Light bleed, heavy bleed, even fractures. And a CMS if you blacked out any limbs. Then, all you really need on top of that is some sort of painkiller for emergencies. I found this to be one of the simplest ways of introducing meds to new players. Just three items. Okay, let's get back to the raid now. I, I got this guy. Oh my god, class five. I thought it was you. I didn't want to shoot him. <laughs> gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> this game's fun. James, we've just fucking ruined everybody, yeah, mate. No, I don't know what happened. You best be recording, mate. <laughs> I am recording. These are chads oh as well. <laughs> like, this guy's level 52. He's higher level than me, man. I'm level one. <laughs> <laughs> You've just killed the biggest inducer as a level one. Yeah. I could, you know what? I couldn't see him because there was a torch on. He was trying to torch in my face, yeah, but I just sprayed at the light, mate. It's meta, mate, to just flashlight abuse right. in this game. I wouldn't push up and loot just yet. Let me pack mags. I'm still trying yeah, to... Was got? Yeah, I kind of need to do that too. Yeah, we just want to listen at this point and hold our advantage. And yeah, like... I'm going to stop moving for a bit. Yeah, I mean, I think everybody's dead at this point. I, I, I pushed up, wasn't able to hear anybody else, so... There are some dead guys outside as well, aren't there? There's a dead guy out there, and then I killed the the other guy like on the stairs. And then you killed the juicer inside. Oh, I'm not push. Yeah, hang on. Oh no, I hear a guy. I do hear a guy. Same place. Where I yeah? killed Chad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. Can't be a scout, can it? Staircase, I reckon. Yeah. Try run across yeah, yeah. and jump. He might be outside. Nah, he was he was close as fuck.
He's on the stairs now. What do we do? I don't think he's gonna move. Oh. I'm gonna die. Damn back up, name. back up! He's on third, he's on third floor. Did you hit him at all? Yeah, yeah. How'd you throw backpack? ZZ. ZZ. Careful, careful, he's... Hmm. I might go on, push it outside. The and fucking... No, no, because he's juice. We want to kill him. I'm going to go up to third. I'm just going to hold here then. Tell me when you want me to push or do anything. I'm in, mate. Was he gonna be at the I don't back? think he's in the staircase. I think you can come up the stairs a little bit, but he might be in the middle area up top. Okay. So I'll be up to the stairs to the right, like at the end of the corridor. I don't see this man. Are you on stairs? Yeah, I'm on stairs. Can what can you Did see? You didn't kill him. There's a dead guy right at the stairs. Is there? I might have yeah. killed him. Can you push out into that main oh. area, like just directly I'm ahead of you? And look. Yeah, careful, because he could be at the end of the corridor somewhere. I'm coming back down him. to you. Oh, I think he's speaking right side. Right I side? See him. I think he might have killed him. I'm coming up to you. I can't lie. You're on the stairs, yeah? That kind of looked like him. Yeah, that's me. Watch out. Let me check his... I killed him. Oh. Did you actually? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to shut all doors. Okay, I'm just stuck. <sighs> James, we've just killed the yeah. entire lobby of stacked juicy. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Oh, that's me. I'm just breaking ah. lights. I'm gonna look at this guy's stuff. This guy had no backpack. There should be a backpack. Yeah, yeah, somewhere. yeah. You killed that bloke, didn't you? It's probably up your floor. Yeah, this dude here. James, come upstairs and take what. Uh, you might want to take this guy's armor. This, I gave you a. There's a class 5 on the floor at the top here. What armor's this guy got here? Uh, He's got a it, fucked class 5. Come up to the top of stairs. I need to get my backpack. No, no, no. Just uh, drop your armor and put that one on. I this one hide it. on the floor. Uh, yeah, I, it's not insured unless you insured it. Oh, no, it's not. How do I drop? Uh, just uh, delete key unless you've rebounded to something more useful. Also, oh, you God. need to turn I the flashlight. I don't know what the drop button is. It's delete, literally delete key. Unless you've rebound it. It's delete by default. Uh, turn the flashlight off on the other gun. You're walking around like a fucking... <laughs> look at you right now. Why is it on? <laughs> uh... The guy had it on. What is that, an arse ass? That's an arse ass, bro. That's a nice gun. Take this, this is it? class five. That'll keep you safe. Right. Okay, now we can actually like loot up. All right, I killed this as well. Nice. Um, that's out the back of dorms towards the car. I don't see anyone. Do I? Could be a bait. So there's another dude knocking about. Oh my god! He's got a class 5 armor out there as well. What, he's dead? Yeah, the guy that came up. The I one tapped. Oh. oh. Alright, let's go back in the way we came. Did you look on the other corridors? Other side? The back no, there could be. I'm gonna check that. Oh, James. They were just up here fighting the whole time. Oh my god, there's so many dead things downstairs, James. <laughs> oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Oh my god, there's a stacked geezer down here. People died here. Oh my god, there's another one out this side as well. James! What? James! What's happened? 
Oh shit, that's me. Bro. <laughs> yeah, the backpacks are outside. Did you find them? No, no, but they're just not in here. What did this guy have? Yeah, this guy had nothing. It's got to be all in his backpack. Yeah, I've just looted one guy. There's another dead guy out here that's good. What do we do with this boy? He's just he's stacked. <laughs> I guess I'll take his attachments. Oh my god, he's got an M4, bro. My next tip for you, looting. In situations like this, it's so, so important to know what items are valuable. And if you're filling up on loot quick, then you want to start stripping the most expensive parts and taking items that will sell for a lot on the flea. There's no real way to speed up learning the items, so the sooner you start thinking about it and checking stuff on the flea, the better. Is it tan? Yeah, it's a tan. You've got a killer armor. It's level five. Where did you find a guy with a killer armor? I don't know. It's just dead out here, mate. What? This? Yeah, was that, this was that a guy. guy there. Oh my god, he's got smitter in for. You've left a ULAC on his body. Come take his helmet. Best helmet in the game. James! What the? <laughs> You've got no helmet on, mate. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's a dead guy on the stairs as well, remember? Yeah. That guy. He's got a class him. 5 armor. I'm just going to run out real quick. And just... I sprayed the... Okay. If I die, I'm dead. I don't know who killed that guy on the grass there. Did you kill this bloke? Nah, I think I killed this Don. Check the tag. Yeah, Check killed, the tag. killed by Heidi. Oh, you got that guy. <laughs> yeah, I sprayed <gasps> the poo out of him, mate. <laughs> oh, my God. At this stage, we're cramming in every last bit of valuable loot that we could. And as you're about to see, James has really got the hang of picking apart the things that are typically expensive. As a general rule for weapons, if you know the weapon is somewhat cheap on the flea market, then you'll probably just want to strip the attachments, like the suppressors, grips, flashlights, and optics. It's also worth checking mags for high tier ammo that you could unload and keep in your secure container. Guy couldn't handle my spray down. True. Right, spraying's kind of easy, can't I? Well, yeah, you are using a gun that's like 500k, so <laughs> <laughs> you oh. kind of hope it would be. All right, let's fucking leave, mate. Did you loot? Let me have a look at that guy. I don't know. You've looted everything. I looted his silencer if he's gone. And that's Good stuff, it. mate. Well done. That's how you do it. All right, let's go. I can't believe that. The entire server. I think I only got two kills. I don't know. I got two. You got two. out level one on the streets mate literally Still oh and the extract's the open so we can just leave here no way yeet oh mate see you later i'm out of breath <laughs> yeah baby that was yeah, a raid baby. that was a fucking raid right there mate what the fuck am i doing here <laughs> first raid in mate <laughs> oh my god i only killed one man now, I did actually kill two people that raid, and James did too, but for some reason the leaderboard was bugged out. Anyway, I think this raid is the perfect example of why ammo is the most important thing to consider when fighting. James had a nice gun, sure, but he also had good 5.56 ammo in the gun, and he was able to confidently spray Senator Mass at a geared PMC to take him down, and he had class 5 armor. Ammo is confusing, and there's a lot to learn. But I see a lot of new players questioning why they're not able to kill anything, and it's all down to the ammo. So my advice is to start using resources like the wiki to start learning what's good. Failing that, accuracy can make up for bad ammo. If you know your ammo doesn't pen armor well, then aim for the face or legs. Sometimes if I'm running bad ammo, I'll deliberately use some form of magnified optic to make it easier to hit the face. Alright, next raid now, and we're back to customs. Yep. Yeah. Where's that old gas? Road. Yeah, gonna ride until I can't no more. Ah, oh. got to jump, mate. Oh, they added the fucking bug back in, man. Yeah, there's a dead scab right here. Hey, oh, strong up, metal. Man. What? I'm being shot at. One close to me. Near where you spawn here at the blue fence. He just doesn't want to die. He's dead. Close to me. Close to me. Are you sure? Behind blue fence, yeah. He was very close to me. I'm pushing. I'm loving the nade in the left corner. 
I've just needed that. Oh. We think so alike. I'm pushing over. Yeah, there's no one here, James. Might have been you. This guy will have a rig, though, so I'm gonna go loot him. Oh, there's a guy on the bridge. Just killed him. What the fuck? Oh. What sludge you weighing us? Well, this is a guy. That yeah, is. that's a mandem. Uh, oh, level oh, yeah. two, he doesn't actually have a rig for you. Because he's got an armored one. I'll take his helmet. <laughs> take his helmet. Oh, are you on the bridge? I'm yeah? on the bridge, yeah. I'm going strong, old mate. That was a scav? Flashback. Flashback. Condensed me. This like running in. Who's running? The oh. scav. Just, I did just say as a scav. Yeah, I was baffed because like... It was already in. Yeah. He was out the front and he just ran all the way around like a loon. I've got a fucking matrix attack this one, mate. What do you mean? They're ready and ready to fucking pick me up in like 15 or 10. All right. Or oh, gas analyzer. Do you know what? I need to get out, mate. <laughs> I actually need those as well. James was going away for the weekend, so we had to be quick with this raid. But next tip right there. He found a gas analyzer and instantly mentioned about getting out of the raid. This is honestly such a great mentality to have. We were just playing for fun in these raids, but generally speaking, if you want to progress, once you get familiar with the game, you should avoid PvP and focus on quests. That's if you want to get ahead of the curve and level quick. Oh my god, I see a guy. Hang on. Thought I got free kill. Wait, what? Are you trolling? Oh. Saw a guy up there. Nah, a hundred percent I saw a guy. I'm going crack house. Or do we go to that? I don't know, mate. Hang on. I'm going. I'm on a roll. I'm sure I just saw a guy up top there. We're on old stronghold? Yeah. I'm gonna launch a nade. Nice. To the left, to the left, to the left, look, pushing left, pushing left, from right to left. Oh yeah, that's Hit him. him. once. Two, there's two, there's two. Got a nade on his head. They're shooting us. Blue fence, blue fence. One's dead. Where did I kill one? more? Yeah, there was two, there was two. I forgot I might be in a ditch. He's by me. He's on me. Yeah, where are you? Uh, at the wall uh, with the white oil tankers. I'm gonna sprint now. That's I me, you just saw. This guy, then. Oh. Oh, I did kill this guy. Whoa. Oh, I've got a scab on me. I killed that guy in the corner. I don't know who else. Where is he? Scavs at the entrance. But it's all crackers somewhere. I see it. 
Got it. Did you kill this Don then? Yeah, I shot him in the head. I think I killed both oh. of them. I'm gonna need to check the tag. Here we go, close. Go that's close. me, that's me, Let's that's go. me. Oh, oh there's two, two steps, two steps. Uh, in bushes, that's a scab. Okay. You can loot that guy, he probably didn't have anything anyway. Yeah, they look kind of broke. <laughs> look like new sets of. I yeah. Oh, yeah, the trooper. Yeah, that's good. Despawn your armor somewhere and take that. I'm pretty sure these are the guys that I saw on Skelly. I killed both of them here, but I'm splitting the loot with James so we can insurance fraud some of his items. But anyway, we're looting up so we can move on to the next place. Dump off. Dump off. This guy was level 10. <laughs> Ochimus Ot Prime. What? Rare. Last stepping on me. Yep. Right on me. Whereabouts? Blue fence right on maybe in the ditch. Alright, I'll bait. I'm not moving. Yeah, I'm right next to you. Oh, he's running towards uh, old gas. Just let him run. Or towards storms. Across the road. Uh, see him red backpack over there. Scav or is that a player? That's a scav. Okay. False alarm this time. It was just a scav. You can kind of tell James is a pretty new player from this because he's still struggling to tell the difference between the looks and sounds of a PMC versus a scav. And to be honest, it can be confusing sometimes. It's something that takes time and experience to really get to grips with. You want to go crack house um, for a Salewa before we leave? Oh, going in. We are basically at extract, so. Oh, it's open. Could be some chimmy chomper gamers. Yep, doing chin chompers, mate. Yeah, yeah, big guy in there. Chill, 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 uh, chill. Uh oh, he's got an arm here. I'll, I'll be loud, you be quiet, I guess. Ah, uh, fuck it, Just send it. I'm gonna go bottom floor. All right, I'll go top. I'm dead. Bottom floor one. Whoa. He was a Chad, by the way. Although James died in this instance, there was still something to be gained from that fight. He peeked slow and gave the guy an easy kill. Next time, when approaching from that angle, he might be better off running past the door and free looking to the side to check if anyone's holding a weird angle. You just gotta remember, you're never gonna win every fight, but deaths like this act as tools to better yourself as a player. So when you face a similar scenario, you feel like you have some more options at your disposal. And if you're just struggling with that raw PvP instinct, you don't know when to push or wait, scared to move, etc., my advice would be to spam factory for three days straight. Push every fight and you'll quickly get the hang of the basics. Honestly, I feel like 90% of my kills in close quarters these days are just me killing people when they reload at a bad spot. And I just pushed them and, well, they can't even shoot. Oh, and if you missed that, I just found another random dead dude in the showers here. After sorting through what was worth taking from that guy, I cleared the building properly. I wanted to loot the guy in the corridor, but you know, there could be a guy upstairs still. I almost died to that guy, so I have no words. He was a good player. Oh, what is this gun? Uh oh. Friendly, friendly, friendly. <laughs> what happened to him? <laughs> he just, I shot him in the head and he bounced. That's my gun. Yeah, he was robbing you, bro. Man, straight taking my shit. Try 
Strong Mac should be on my body. So yeah. Sleep. Dude, this is not ideal. I don't have the facilities to get this trooper out. I'm gonna go, boys. I need to get right. some shit. Have a lovely time, mate. See you all Monday. Ciao, bro. Yeah. Ciao, ciao. In order to get the most out of this raid, I actually needed to drop some of the less expensive stuff to make some room. So that's what I'm doing. Dropping cheap items, saving the best of what I had, and making some room. Oh, I died of his gas and on him. Poor lad. I got four PMC kills that raid. What the fuck? I know it looked like we just stomped through most of that raid, but the truth is, it was quite chill. The majority of the work looked effortless because it came from a place of routine. In a way, it was easy. And that's because mine and James's map knowledge. We've both played customs enough to comfortably tackle what it throws at us. And a lot of the time, map knowledge outclasses mechanical skill and good aim. Having good game sense can carry you a long way in Tarkov. And in this next raid, you're really going to feel that. Okay, last raid now, and this is probably the wildest raid I've had a wipe. It was incredible what me and James managed to achieve together this raid. And although my time playing Tarkov with James has been short, he's really taken on board a lot of these tips I've talked about in this video. And for a player with 100 hours, I couldn't be more proud. All right, guys, sit back, kick your feet up, and let's get into this raid. Go on. Strange, strongy. Oh, we need to go dorms, don't we? Let's go stronghold ah. first, so. What do you mean? Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can go yeah, um, yeah. crack house as well and, and murder the men, pick up intel, then go dorms, kill everybody there, and then go uh, woods and kill everyone there. Oh, running across the open towards stronghold. Oh! That's a scab and he's cracked. I'm gonna let you deal with that. Uh, yeah, I can't. Get better. Are you metal? Yeah. Get better. I can't see him, he's in a fucking bush. I'm looting and scooting. Oh, it's the goons! Wait, there's more? Why are we getting bosses every time? Are they all dead? No, there's one more goon left. Are you coming up, Stronghold? No. Where are you? I'm upstairs in Stronghold. You're sprinting. I'm upstairs in Stronghold. I'm downstairs. I think he's close to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to kill him. All right. He's on... He's out here to the right. Where are me. you? Uh, near the middle room. He's towards crack house to the right. To this right. Are you... Is, you on is that you? Yeah, this is me here. Look. This is me. He's to the right up here. 
this doorway here. Someone's shooting behind us. What the? F I killed something. I just killed a guy. Try not to kill the last goon. I really need him. All right. So you reckon he's out? It's alright. Let me throw a nade. That was that a goon? That's a scav. Why is so much shit happening, man? His steps out this side. Let me have a look. That could be a player. Left or right? Not sure. Oh, I see him, I think. Where? Oh, no, that's a scav, I think. No, no, that's him, that's him. Where is he? Uh, garage, garage. Snapper. Yeah, yeah. Thing is to the right. I'm coming up, I'm coming upstairs. He's at the dip. Oh, there's a player running at him, I think. Yeah, player running at him on, along the wall. You might have just killed him. Fuck! Right. He's in that in that corner. Yeah, I don't see him. Killed that, I killed that. No, he's alive still! He's alive do still! Shoot? Do you want me to shoot this player then in the trees? I no, that's 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 him, I think. No, it's not, it's not, it's not. Oh, that's a player. Push that, him no, down. It's him. That's not. That's a player. Oh no, it's a player. Man. He's behind the Ural truck. Yeah. Oh, we're being naded. He's behind the blue containers. Yeah. The last goon is still alive, though, somewhere. Fuck, I just don't know where the, the last goon is. I think he's somewhere in that corner. Are you sure? Nah, he, he's got to have killed him. No, I heard I heard the American voice line. Uh, he's, this guy's shooting back at us. Oh yeah, I'm being shot at. I might swing all the way around to the right and just shoot him in the heads. Yeah, I think the goon is somewhere in the open. Give me a second, this guy's annoying me. Just can't tell. Can you keep looking to see if he's there? Oh, I'm being shot from behind. Train tracks, I think, or in a glass cracked window. In a strong, opposite stronghold. I don't see him. Oh no, I see him. He's pushing. He's dead, he's dead. That was a PMC, he was stacked. I killed a PMC. I killed the guy blue container. Nice, nice. Okay, so it's just the goon left now. We need to relax a little bit. I see him, I see him. Where, where, where? Wait, I don't, look at my. You have to look oh, at my. Oh, I see him. Yeah, yeah, I see, I see. Was that? Is that the goon? No, I think that's a PMC as well. But I don't. He's just. Oh, I see him. He's dead. <gasps> oh, I just hit the nastiest shot. Okay, I'm pushing. They must have killed him. I think they must have killed him. But I don't know. I still heard that's that. Not, is it? That's the most Russian geezer. No, no, no it's it is. He'll have like a weird face mask on and a sniper. It's, it's bird eye. Oh god. Killed a guy. I don't know if that was a scav. Uh, I mean a... a oh, there's another one in garage. There's another one in garage. In garage to the right. In garage to the right. Yeah, I don't, think, I don't know if it's a scav or not though. What, out? Or is he Hang on. in? So?
There's a guy on me. Oh, what the fuck? There's a guy on me, hang on. In the stronghold. There's a scab. I think it's a scav running at me or it's a fucking bird's eye boy. Bird's eye boy, I'm 1 HP, hang on. That was me shooting. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna nade near garage corner. Yeah, just l listen out for American voice line. Nah. That was a Russian as fuck. Yeah, it's rushing his foot. <laughs> I need to check if this was a player or not. Yeah, it was, mate. I'm chatting all right now. Could you check in the trenches? Do you know where the trenches are? Yeah. I, that's where I'm I think I heard bird's eye. Bird's eye. Bird eye. I <laughs> got him bird's eye, mate. <laughs> Oh, you're getting... There's so many scavs about, man. Yeah, it might There's be scav army. Was that one have blue armor of some sort? Because right, I thought this. the person I saw was, like, slightly blue. BPO, I don't know how to tell if it's a scav or a... Uh... You'll know, you'll know. He'll be stacked and have huge pockets. I'm gonna head... Oh, I think I've... No, what's this? Uh... That's not him, no. That's not him either. I need to pack a mag because I've got nothing, by the way. It could have been this guy I shot at the end. Oh no, this was a player. Yeah, that was a player. Oh my there, yeah, god, there's, there's a like scav 50 army. scavs on yeah, me. Yeah, there's a scav army. They're just gonna keep coming at us. This? It's fine, just don't panic, it's fine. But... They're sandwiching me. Look at this. Killed another. <laughs> Should be safe for now. There's dead PMCs everywhere. I don't see bird's eye. Yeah. Do you have a nade? Yeah, I've got a nade, yeah. He's like heavy bleed towards... not going out. Do you not have a heavy bleed? Do you have a hemostat? Oh. Oh, that's because my thing's out. What's out? Grizzly. Oh, loop somebody for hills. Oh, look at this guy. This was him, right? That, 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 oh, that is a, a juice PMZ. Yeah. Who killed him? Was that you? Me? <laughs> yeah. That, that's, <laughs> he's got the best gear in the game. <laughs> he's got class 6 armor. Lightweight, ultra fucking class 6 armor. He's got a... He's got a fucking slap on his helmet. A little plate on his helmet that's worth 400k. Lewis, how am I doing this? Well, I've given you the best gun in the game. <laughs> and nah, like, allow it. I mean, These guys that should have better game knowledge than me. Yeah, but that's just Tarkov. And tapping. Yeah, I know that's Tarkov though. Like that, you this can you nuts. can literally come from nothing. This is uh, this is the best raid ever. I think just hands down the amount of dead people there are on the floor right now, like stacked. Because we've got we've got like. Waves of them behind us. I think I need to just get out of stronghold and, and like get to you and start looting. Can you throw your nade towards trenches, please? Yeah, I'm just swapping my armor out. I'm in trench. Oh, as in near crack house. Yeah. Yeah, give me a sec. I need you to do it now because I'm pushing up and I will die if I don't hear this aggro. Grenades can be used to disrupt the goons and bait them out. They'll usually scream and move around a little bit, so it gives you a chance to attack. And that's exactly what we're doing here. Yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, it was. Where, where, where? Hey, cover! Slightly to the right of trenches. Okay. Maybe near blue container? Have you got another nade? Uh, yeah. Just give me a min, give me a min, give me a min. Just let me, uh... Okay, right. Yeet it again. Oh, 
I didn't hear he it. He ain't responding, mate. He was on the right side of blue containers, I'm pretty sure. Where are you now? I don't want to know you. I think I hear him. I'm at the porta potties. Oh, I think I hear him. There's a regular scav. Should we send Nade again? Yeah, can you can you come up into garage? Come into garage this time. Yeah. I'm outside. There's, just, there's one body left to loot. That's fine. Don't worry about that. We need to get this last fucking guy. Right. I'm gonna just hug a wall so I don't get killed by bird's eye. Could he be in garage? He could be, yeah. Where are you right now? I'm on the opposite side of garage. Why hear him? I, I'm running at you. I'm running at you. Are oh, you in garage? No, no, no. I'm right outside. Hello. Oh, right. Try to lob a nade in there. Wait, is that him? Oh! Yeah, that's got to be him. <laughs> done it. I've done it, mate. I've just Dead. killed all three of the goons. I've never done nice. it on this map before. Holy sh... Wait, this is a player. Did you kill this guy? Yeah, I, I one-tapped the player. Yeah, this is who you killed. He had nice ass. Oh, it's kind of James, this is the biggest oh. raid I've ever had. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I've never wiped all three goons in one raid before. Nice. Key card, two more veins, <laughs> grenades. This is nuts, mate. James, we've we've also wiped the entire lobby. I'm not gonna lie. The entire yeah. lobby is dead. <laughs> and they're all stacked. Yep. I don't know how much a hex grid is, but I feel like that is a lot. Hex grid is the best in the game. James, this arse had had uh, uh, the arse ass had a thermal on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> is that a lot? Yes, six hundred k. Oh, what the fuck. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This is the most stacked raid I've ever been in. I feel ill. <laughs> you feel ill. Man feels ill. I actually do. Like, this is disgusting. I'm despawning my armor. Right. Have you looted all of the women, uh, the women's, the, the ones over there? I've looted the two guys I've killed, but there's is there still any... bodies knocking around. Is that you? Yes, yeah, you. Still... Oh, yes, a module armor. <laughs> Go check on tags, in. check tags. I don't know who I've killed. This I've... is a scab, but it's just got the armor I need. Wait, what the fuck? I think you killed all people this side, I'm not gonna lie. I've still got two of the goons to loot in the open. Is there really only... My game crashed on oh, no, it, didn't Oh, oh my yeah, God. you're back. What the fuck? I feel like there should be more dead people here, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I think the M4 shots were the goons that were, like, rotating. Okay, so there's... I need you to cover me whilst I loot these. So, one of them is dead... Got a lot of ammo. Here. Oh my god. Right, this is fucking Captain Birdseye. He also had a labs key card. I didn't realise I killed Birdseye already. We left the hardest one until last and I didn't die. It's actually a fucking Are you slow walking towards me? I'm just walking around. I dropped my backpack here. Now I'm just aiming around. Oh god. Yeah. We're gonna need to get out of here very soon because player scavs are gonna come in full force. Right, I've looted this one. Right. Where are you? You ready? Yep. I'm just grab my backpack. I'm ready to go. Oh. I've still got a cracked arm. Just realised. Hey, this is night. I'm on night now. I'm pretty battered in. Yeah. Have 
about to drop a rig. All right. There's still so much to loot. James, mate, what are you Wait, doing over you there still? I strong, I was running. Oh my God, nade. I've just been naded. By a scab or? But no. Killed are you him. shooting? Yeah, I killed something. Oh, there's another one in stronghold. Look, what is that? It sounds like Sanitar, mate. Is that a shadow? Shoot him in the head. What is that? I don't know, it's something being blocked. Oh, it's a, it's a render glitch. Yeah. It wasn't rendering. We need to loot all the PMTs that were behind Stronghold now. These ones are all dead. I mentioned it sounded like Sanitar here because I was in complete disbelief. I'd spent the majority of the raid chilling in Stronghold without any signs of Scav Boss. So surely it isn't actually Rashala. Steps up top, up top. Far left side, I was just pretty sure I saw him. He's dead. Right. On again, on again, on again. I'm pretty sure there's like three dead PMCs behind this way. I've got no stamina. I don't have a mule stem for you, mate. I'm already 65 kg. I'm regenerating, so we're good. All right. How many did you kill behind? I'm pretty sure you killed one, right? Something like that, yeah. I've definitely killed two. Yeah, there's one. He has a grizzly in his hand. And the other guy I killed along the wall with a Mando helm. There's still guys in Stronghold. I don't know what it is. That's fine. I think they're scavs. I'm not going to lie. This is going to be pretty risky. Right, I'm going to loot this bloke that I killed here real quick. All right. You killed a guy so somewhere around like here. scavs or some shit. Loot in this place. These are all scabs. Okay, there's still. Oh, wait, there's a player here, I'm pretty sure. If he's the one with the grizzly, that was the one I killed. But honestly, like. Yeah, it's this grizzly boy. HPC, what arm is that? That's class 5. Yeah, this is your kill here. I, ca I can't take the armor anyway, so. God. Oh my god, I'm dead. Lewis? The fuck? What is going on? They're not dying. Is it? I think it's Rashala. Yeah. I'm... They're not dying. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How the fuck's Rashala about? I, I don't know. He must have just spawned in, no? Yeah, I still don't really have any words for that. I can't believe Rashala was just chilling in Stronghold the entire time. Especially considering I spent most of the raid in Stronghold fighting people. But hey, that's Tarkov. Shortly after, James died too. But before I leave you though, I'm just going to run through some of the main tips I have for you in this video to summarize. Starting off with number one, ammo. It's single-handedly the most important thing when knowing what your kill potential is in this game. Learn what ammo is good, what to look out for, and whether it's worth aiming for chest, head, or even the legs. Number two accuracy. It can really make up for bad ammo. Use scopes when you have the option as a well-placed shot to an unprotected face can result in a huge come up. Number three, understanding your meds as a beginner. For example, using a grizzly, CMS and painkillers. It's a quick and easy way to get used to the health system and all of these items comfortably fit in your secure container if you have EOD. Number four, PVP instinct. If you're struggling to get used to how the PVP works in this game, spam factory for three days. Push every fight and you'll soon get an understanding of when to push, hold and reload etc. Learn from your mistakes when you die and try put that knowledge to good use next time. Dying is just part of Tarkov. The more you die, the better you get. Number 5. Once you got to grips with the game, prioritise quests over combat to get ahead of the curve, especially if you're focusing on levelling up quickly in the early wipe. Number 6. Map Knowledge it's important to remember that typically someone with an extensive understanding of a map, for example rotations, audio cues, routes, building layouts, etc. will stand a better chance in a fight versus someone with better aim or mechanical skill. Focus your efforts on truly learning one map at a time, inside out, and it will make you a much better player. 
Number seven, and finally, looting. From the moment you start playing for the first time, it's important to try learn what items to prioritize. There's no real shortcut for this one other than making a conscious effort to search up items online to see their value. Once you have the flea market though, that's when the game really opens up a bit. It'll make this task much easier. But yeah, knowing what quest items to look out for or which items are really, really expensive that you can sell later on is, is handy. So don't neglect this tip. Okay guys, those are my seven best pieces of advice that I can give to new players needing some motivation to get better at this game. If you've got any extra tips that you think would be helpful, leave them in the comments. But thank you so, so much for watching till the end. If you enjoyed, please subscribe. It's free and it would really help me out. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you next time.